गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू अर ऑनलाइन केमिस्ट्री क्लास सो लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज आयनिक बॉन्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वेश्चंस एंड लुविस थियरी सो इफ यू चेक द आयनिक बॉन्ड देयर आर सेवरल फैक्टर्स व्हिच इन्फ्लुएंस द आयनिक बॉन्ड सो लेट्स सी वन बाय वन इन टुडेस क्लास सो द फर्स्ट फैक्टर इज द आयनाइजेशन एंड द एल्पी सो व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय आयनाइजेशन एंड द एल्पी दैट वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस व्हाट इज आयनाइजेशन एंड द एल्पी it is the amount of energy required to remove one electron from the isolated neutral gaseous atom in order to form a positive ion or cation so uh, if we check the compounds the ionic compounds we know that there is a formation of cation so the formation of the positive ion involves the ionization process so the removal of electron from the neutral atom and that of the negative ion involves the addition of electrons to the neutral atom so two processes are occurring that is removal of electron from the uh, neutral atom and addition of the electron to the uh, neutral atom so uh, so the removal of electron from the uh, neutral atom is known as uh, for that we need required ionization energy so if we consider it is as a element it is donating one electron so this energy is known as ionization and ionization energy if the ionization energy is less then we can call it as it will favor ionic uh, bond formation of the ionic bond for example alkali metals we know alkali metals having low ionization energy compared to other elements moving down the group the size increases ionization energy also increases so um so the if we check with alkali metals the formation of cations will easily occur so uh, if there is low ionization energy we can say that the elements will form or the elements will form cations easily the elements will form ionic bond easily so the first condition is low ionization energy then we know that in order to form an ionic bond it requires the addition of electron in um, other elements uh, the transfer from one element to another element so one element have to accept uh, one electron or one or more electron in order to form the ionic bond so we know what is that energy it is known as electron gain enthalpy what do we mean by electron gain enthalpy electron gain enthalpy is the energy released when an electron added to the outermost shell of a neutral gaseous atom in order to form a anion so uh, the elements should have high electron gain enthalpy then only they will form a covalent bond for example if we take halogens we know about halogens halogen having high electron gain enthalpy so they have in order to attain the uh, octet in the valence shell they required um, one more electron so they need one more electron so you know if we uh, they having high electron gain enthalpy so if you check with halogens for example here you can see uh, the x is denoting uh, as halogen if we will get we will get um, it will form a um, negative ion called anion so um, so if an element having high electron gain in the LP it will form um, ionic bond the first condition is less ionization energy second condition is high electron gain in the LP then the next case is lattice enthalpy what do you mean by lattice enthalpy so we um, here we discussed the compound having low ionization energy and uh, the element having low ionization energy and high in electron gain enthalpy will form um, our um, ionic compound for example alkali metals and halogens so uh, in the formation of this ionic bond there is Uh, charges or energy required and uh, that we know and most probably if we check the ionic compound it will formed between the metallic and non metallic compound for example sodium is a metal chlorine is a non metal and here you can see nh4 here uh, and uh, there is 
several factors for this and and if we check uh, the compound form in the solid structure so uh, some there are so charges sodium having positive charge chlorine having negative charge and there are uh, another sodium atoms uh, sodium ions so many sodium ions and chloride ions combine to form a sodium chloride molecule so uh, or sodium chloride um, compound so there will be several ions so there will be some uh, uh, so the formation of crystal there crystal structure so for the stabilization of this crystal structure that may be distorted structure so it should be stabilized for the stabilization of this crystal structure the compound will uh, there will be release of some energy this energy is known as lattice energy uh, for example lattice energy is the energy uh, required to form a crystal lattice um, you can see it is the energy released when the close packing of the gaseous ions is the opposite that forms one molecule of ionic solid so from the this gaseous ions will form an ionic solid so uh, they will from from iron to they will move to um, our because the charge if they having charge there will be some distortion so in order to overcome that they will become a ionic compound so they will it will release some energy so this is known as lattice energy it is mainly depends on two factors size of the ion if the smaller the size of the ion uh, there will be lesser internuclear charge and um, there will be less inter ionic interaction hence the uh, lattice energy will be more and charge ion charge on the ions if the charge on the ions also greater the lattice energy will be more so for example lattice for example uh, the ionization enthalpy of sodium uh, the formation of sodium gas to sodium iron it is 495.8 kilojoule uh, per mole and uh, from formation of chloride iron we can see here um, 348.7 that is negative value so if you take the uh, amount for 147.1 so it is the amount of energy required to form sodium iron and uh, the total and if the formation of sodium chloride ionic compound the compound itself release some energy that is minus 78.8 point kilojoule mole if you compare this 147.1 kilojoule mole and minus 78.8 kilojoule mole will get the amount of energy released is more than the absorbed energy so thus the lattice energy will be high um, so we know the lattice energy is the energy required to completely separate one mole of solid ionic compound into gaseous constituents ions uh, so uh, the lattice enthalpy of sodium chloride here given it as 788 kilojoule mole that is 788 kilojoule mole energy required to separate one mole of solid NaCl into one mole of sodium gas uh, sodium iron and chloride iron so this is uh, these are the factors affecting lattice enthalpy uh, sorry um, ion a formation of ionic compound that is low ionization energy high electron gain enthalpy and lattice enthalpy okay i hope all of you understood this topic so in next class we'll discuss about the bond parameters thank you